in order to perform modern equine industries actually takes quite a lot of uh, specialized equipment. And uh, this is my selection of equipment. This is not necessarily the uh, only solution at all, but um, there is a lot of other different solutions on the market, but this functions very well in my hands. And now I'm gonna run through a um, selection of this. And first and foremost, I have a great usage of this very, very simple stethoscope. It's a simple rule that when you use very, very potent drugs for sedation of the horse, you as a veterinary surgeon has to check that the horse is actually fit to uh, sustain this uh, sedation. So the heart and lungs and the windpipe and trachea has to be checked up before you choose to go on and move with your oral exam and sedate the horse. And there's a great variety of uh, drugs to be used and combinations depending on what the scope of this examination is <coughs> and what the effect uh, you want. So this is my way of keeping my drugs. And um, I also have a very, very important thing here. In order to perform modern equine dentistry, it's very important to uh, keep your, your files on the patient. And of course, you have space for uh, client information and for horse information and all the dental uh, conditions that you might discover during your exam, you can take down here, which basis is your uh, next uh, checkup of your patient. You can pull out your journal again and read it and uh, check up how long since you have been looking at this patient before <coughs> and uh, see to uh, that the patient is recalled in our internal reminder system. When the horse has been sedated, we have some equipment over here in order to start the uh, very oral exam. And this is uh, a bucket of steel with a rubber bottom in it so that these steel instruments won't uh, noise, uh, have, be too noisy for the patient who is now in a sleep kind of mode. We always start up by filling this bucket with water uh, and adds a little detergent and some soap in order to rinse the horse's mouth with this uh, specialized dose syringe, which we uh, spray into the mouth. And uh, then we, after the mouth has been rinsed, we use a, uh, this is a McPherson full mouth speculum, which is uh, fitted to the horse and which keeps the mouth open at all times so that you safely with your hand can examine the horse's mouth. So this is when the uh, speculum is placed right in the horse and you can stick your hand in here. And while uh, this um, full mouth speculum has been fitted to the head and the horse is standing uh, beside us in a sedated condition, we use this uh, very, very important headrest uh, who's actually able to be elevated of course into a, um, a level where it's, it's uh, this very sleepy horse head is placed here so that we can work in a um, nice height and we can actually save the owner's shoulder for a lot of pain and cumbersome work. There are two uh, different ways of using light sources. There's this uh, special designed Headlamp, which has very, very powerful um, bulbs in it to uh, light up the mouth, <coughs> which uh, gives you the possibility to have both your hands free. And there's always the possibility of using quite an, or an ordinary uh, flashlight here. But it has to be a high quality and very strong light source. That's very important, just as we know it from the human dentists. Strong light is a very, very important thing. Again, back to this bucket, uh, who has this uh, special insertion in it. There's a great variety of uh, handheld instruments uh, fitted with very special and sharp uh, grinding and very effective grinding uh, things here at the end. And all these different instruments are actually designed to uh, fix very concrete and specific problems inside the horse's mouth. I don't use uh, very much uh, these handheld instruments uh, anymore because the uh, technology has brought uh, a lot of very, very effective power tools, which we actually use today. But if you have a power uh, breakdown or whatever, they are still a very, very good alternative to fix uh, modern uh, equine industry with. 
This is an example of a very, very simple but very necessary tool as well, a uh, dental mirror designed for horses, quite a lot bigger than the one we know from our own dentists. So this is, uh, makes us able to visualize um, dental pocketing, for instance, and fractures and fragments of teeth, which is not uh, visible without using a mirror. There's always a need for a uh, special set of dental picks that can uh, check the teeth and uh, whether or not there are holes and uh, graves and so on inside the, uh, the teeth. So this is an, an example of uh, handheld instruments <coughs> used today. As I said before, uh, me and my wife use only, almost only, power tools. This uh, model from uh, Canada. It consists of a battery-driven, uh, ordinary, well-known drilling machine, but uh, fitted with a uh, gearing box, of course, and a shaft, which ends up in this uh, rotating disc that actually fixes the teeth uh, instead of the handheld and uh, quite cumbersome instruments to, to use. So this kind of power tool is a very, very modern and uh, effective one that solves uh, problems quite a lot easier and faster and without being so cumbersome for the operator. <clears throat> it takes a little uh, security um, equipment to use. I use uh, my hearing guards here and also a mask because this kind of power tool uh, creates and produces a lot of dental dust, which is not very healthy for me as a veterinary surgeon who is in this field every day. The horse that is being treated and the owner who is always there and present and looking at this treatment, uh, it, it does no harm to them because they are only experiencing this once or two a year. But uh, we are working with this every day and we need to protect ourselves and our airways. When the horse has been fixed and uh, the mouth again has been rinsed and uh, the horse is going back to its box or stable, it's very important that it's not able to uh, eat especially hay, uh, but also grain, for the uh, following one hour and a half. So we always fit <coughs> our horse with this uh, mouth muzzle, so we um, prevent it from, from eating for the next 90 minutes or one hour and a half after the treatment has been well done. Or else the alternative is, of course, to place the horse in an empty box where they cannot eat at all. This is the more ordinary equipment. If we uh, need to uh, expand our treatment, if we find things that need extraction and so on, you also, as a professional equine dentist, need different extractors to remove or pull out dental caps, which is actually uh, little remains of baby teeth inside the horse's mouth, along with the uh, fact that in the, during the young, young years, they, of course, shift their, uh, some of their uh, cheek teeth from uh, this baby tooth to the more permanent tooth. And sometimes they need extraction. And also uh, <coughs> permanent teeth that have undergone pathology and uh, sickness has to be removed once in a while. And then you need different extractors to, to solve that kind of problem. This is an example of a little cheek retractor which allows you to work more freely to remove the cheek from your working area inside the cheek teeth and also actually makes it possible for the owner to see what is going on in there. We always treat horses with the owner alongside so they know what is going on and they can understand what is important and what is not important and they also understand the aftercare much better if they have been uh, participating in the oral exam and the treatment. This is a uh, little surgical set for removing wolf teeth. Uh, wolf teeth is quite a special debate, and we can come in that in a later uh, session. Well, this is examples of uh, wolf teeth that has been extracted uh, from uh, horses recently. Some wolf teeth need, need extraction and some doesn't. So this is a wolf tooth uh, elevator set. And lastly, we here have a, um, a little tank that can uh, produce high pressure to, uh, to rinse certain pathology uh, areas inside the mouth. 
just like the dentist used little uh, water spraying instruments, we have a uh, greater model here for use in the equine industry. So this is our selection of equipment and setup which can solve a lot of problems in field practice. But again, a more uh, hardcore cases that needs surgery and uh, first and foremost x-ray films on the way, we refer them to uh, whatever hospital the, um, the owner is uh, preferring to use. Now we have been focusing on equipment and a go through of what I've chosen to use in my everyday life as a professional equine dentist. And now we're moving forward to concentrate on the teeth and the practical session and uh, a real horse. This is a dead horse, but indeed there is big teeth to be working on.